Abushimega, video las yeti chaskanas, vor amerigam yatsel nahat nere, haigagani, pari luis. Pari Luis. When we commemorate for the sake of commemoration, that means we have failed back then and we have failed today. Meaning, almost every year after the Armenian genocide, Armenians have commemorated the events of 1915. Then, they only commemorated it because it's an obligation they have to do. The outcome of each commemoration had no positive impact about the future. It was only for that day. People spoke, gave speeches, some singers sang, some poetry was recited. And then at the end, everybody went back to their normal life till the year after. And today, because it's 2014, we are hyping ourselves for the next April 24th commemoration. And almost every other Armenian has a project. The unfortunate part, when you take that pro those projects and you divide them between the good, the bad, and the ugly, you can see that majority of the projects are within the ugly end of it. And in the past I have spoken about some of those things. But right now I'm just going to go after the rational of thinking that way. Why we Armenians are stuck in the negative aspect of everything. For every action, there are two types of reactions. One is a positive reaction and the other one is a negative reaction. The Armenian genocide was an action. And with that action, there were two reactions. One was positive, now you're going to question me. How come you can say that the genocide of the Armenians had a positive reaction? And I will elaborate on it in the coming minutes. And the other one is the negative reaction. Armenians started commemorating the April 24th incidents, or the, the word genocide of the Armenian people, after 50 years of 1915. So around 1965 and on, we have seen an active involvement in commemorating our national tragedy as a, a negative reaction or our nation rising and controlling the planet Earth from the positive reaction. Now you're going to question, why am I saying that we rose and we controlled the planet? I'm sure so many of you guys have seen my books, Yes We Have, which list individuals who have made a difference to humanity after the Armenian Genocide in general, and there were people before that. But the majority happened during, after the Hamidian massacres, when Armenians were forced to leave their land, when Armenians were butchered when Armenians were put to slaughter, just like what's happening in Iraq and uh, in um, Syria today. Nothing has changed for the same reasons. Yet, the planet right now has the ability to do so many things because of the kids, the orphans, who contributed from a major perspective, from major input to the existence of humanity on the planet. My approach to the April 24th commemoration is enough is enough of crying. We should be so proud of what we did after that. You can mention about the genocide for a sh short sentences and then present the victories that we have had. Now, the 51% of Armenians who are the Abushes will say, what victories? 
yet each one of them has right now a property or most of them have properties valued at $700,000 and above or they are able to enjoy their existence in a comfortable level in different parts of the world. Now, if we stayed on the land, I know you guys are not going to agree with what I'm saying, but if we stayed on that land, do you think better things would have happened to us? I'm not saying let's forget about the issue of Turks doing what they did to the Armenians. But now we are begging for the recognition. If we start begging for the recognition and we force others to realize that we have risen from the ashes and we have contrib contributed back to humanity from different aspects, just grab my book, Yes We Have, and you can see all those things. And we were the victorious ones of that particular event. Today, just in the United States of America, over a few billion dollars of assets are controlled by Armenians. From the churches, to schools, to Armenian centers, and then a few trillion dollars of personal wealth. You think we would have those things after the genocide, if there was no genocide? Now, I know it's not a pleasant feeling, but we concentrate on the negative aspect when we don't see what we have done. Why do you think we should have had 130 churches in the States of America? Why? We were refugees. We came to, I mean, the orphans came over here, and then they prospered. And then the first thing they did, build a church. And then there, was, there were a few churches, and they purchased properties for themselves. So they gave to the community by saying, we provided a church for you. Now imagine if there was no genocide. Do you think we would have continued building churches? No. We would have made sure that our kids will get the education in the land. Because before the genocide, not that many Armenians were educated. They were slaves for 600 years. And then suddenly the genocide happened. And then almost all of us are educated right now. Now, education has different meanings, and I'll come to that meaning of what education is after the commercial break. Pari Luis. Have you protected him? Have you protected her? Looks safe. Don't leave him hanging. Have you put real thought in his future? Have you protected your kid's future? Let's create a trust. Assign them a guardian to protect his future. Contact Dare Parsegian Law Group. We are here to help. Ensino in Gutnavo Terrace Restaurant and Lounge, Michina Revel and Jasharan Nilbaz Mitsunit, Aranz Nanume, Lava Gwindi Banania, Homanotov. Jasharan is Shakir Batsotia Seraha, Anker Kaneli, Buravet Huka Vaelelu, Yev Michina Revel and Ahor Jali for Tikner Jashakelu Hamar. Ulpati of Shapat, Kentanin Vaga Humba, DJ Nu Geretskuhi Paruhinera, Zerjaman Sakahamem and Michel Krakan Kirkotrik Nero. Jasharan Batsa Shapata Veto, Jashin Yevan Fiki. On Mahakam Testner, Anker Kaneli Michava. Terrace Restaurant and Lounge. Introducing Blue Isle. It's Blue Isle time. Honey, blueberry. 
a delicious range of Mediterranean yogurt spread. A spread so pure and tasty. Blue Isle is rich in calcium that contains healthy probiotic culture. Truly a healthy alternative to other creamy spreads because it's low in fat and sodium. Blue Isle, born in the Mediterranean, now spreading everywhere. I'm sure everybody's so angry right now at me because I'm expressing this way and I'm sure so many people are telling me you're a Turk, you're not an Armenian because you don't care about the Armenian genocide. Well, I do care about the Armenian genocide, but I don't make it into an obstacle for me to progress. We as individuals have progressed in our lives from where we were to where we are right now. At different times from the 1990s to 1980s, 1960s, 1970s, even 1920s, Armenians progressed individually after the genocide. Here in the United States of America, people purchased cars, houses. They made their lives better than what it was back in Aintap, Kilis, uh, Kayserya, Dikranagert, Maras, Urfa, and all those places on an individual basis. But then when they came collectively, they started crying. We lost, we lost, we lost, we lost. There are two types of losses. You lose something, then definitely you have to gain something else. Then you lose something and you stick on the losing path and then you stay losing everything. There's an equilibrium in life. I know so many of you know science, you, go, you talk about the equilibrium. And especially when we were kids at the school, we always um, experimented with the tube and we filled it with water and then as we shake the tube blank, the water stayed at the same level. So for every gain, there was a loss, but equilibrium stayed steady. For every gain that you went up with the tube, the water stayed in the same place. Today, each of our organizations are much richer than what they were back 100 years ago, whoever existed for 100 years ago, and today they still exist. Then came the Armenian identity of the particular geographic region and created organizations. We the Iranahais, we the Lipanahais, we the Marastis, we the Urfatsis, we, I'm not going to say anybody else because then they might get mad at me. Millions of dollars of assets each of those organizations have today. The Armenian church is much richer than what it was 100 years ago. Yeah, people will say they lost all the properties, the churches, but they gained more of a value for every property that they have lost and every property that they have built throughout the diaspora. Because land is not the same value in Armenia as it is in Los Angeles. Or the property value in Western Armenia today is not as much as the property value in France. But we do have those properties. And I always make this uh, um, joke, let me say it is a joke. We lost Marash and Urfa, but we, we gained Glendale and um, Fresno. Just making our minds and brains working from the perspective of looking at things from the positive end we can become much stronger and progress. Now, 100th anniversary and suddenly we're going to gain another property or few other properties. Armenians are building monuments because 100 years ago we had a genocide. Each of those monuments cost money. Each of those properties cost money. Each of whatever we want to do, it's going to be valued at a number that we are gaining. Imagine if there was a no genocide. Do you think we would have ever built a monument in Montebello? Would you ever be building a monument all over the world? Like over 580 locations I documented in the U U.S. Do you think if there was no genocide, we would have had those properties in the U.S. or organizations with millions of dollars in assets? No? We would have never had those things. So is it the positive reaction for the genocide action? 
I will say yes. That is the positive action, reaction. And then the guilt feeling will start with every Armenian. How can we say it is a positive reaction where my grand-grandfather was burned in an oven? Yes, my great-grandfather was burned in an oven in Urfa. And then the whole family was out and came to Lebanon. And now I am in the U.S. and my daughter was born in the U.S. Are those the positive reactions? Yes, they are. I got an education in the U.S. You guys might think I'm an uneducated person and the way I express to you things is like so not normal and that's not a, a decent person will do it. But I did get an education. I did get the ability to think freely. If I was still in, if I was born uh, in Western Armenia or if I still stayed in Lebanon, I would have not been a free thinker. Probably I would be in another Vochkar following what we have done for so many years. So um, I know there are lots of free thinkers in Lebanon today too. But the way you prepare that young kid to accept everything presented to them is one of the negative reactions of the Armenian genocide. So the negative reactions of the Armenian genocide is not the death march. The death march was the genocide itself. But the negative reaction is for 100 years to raise four different generations and each of them are still stuck in 1915. Today you go to any Armenian function that has patriotic songs. We are still singing after 100 years Bankotoman Kravetsink for one day only. And then today the National Bank of Turkey has trillion dollars of assets and yet we Armenians, we drag about a few hundred dollars here and there about the Armenian existence. After the commercial break, I'll elaborate on that one more. Paris, Ruiz. Կարուն ընկերությունը շնորհավորում է գալիք տոների կապակցությամբ եւ առաջարկում նոր ապրանքանիշ Սևանի Չանախ բանիր։ Այն շատ համեղ է եւ պատրաստված է առանց արհեստական հորմոնների թարմ անարատ կաթից։ Գարուն։ Համեղության անուն։ LABK Services հաստատությունը առաջարկում է սննդացման bankruptcy-ի հայտարարագրման ծառայություններ։ Դիմումների ամբողջական լրացում մեկ ցածր արժեքով։ Bankruptcy-ի դիմելու դյուրին ընթացք, ժամանակի ու դրամի խնայողություն։ Մենք իրաշխավորում ենք սննդացման գործընթացի գաղտնապահությունը։ Bankruptcy-ի հետ կապված բոլոր հարցերով դիմեք LA BK Services Գրասենյակ։ 2015 թվականի հունվարի 1-ին 126-րդ անգամ կանցկացվի ամենամյա հանրահայտ վարթերի փառատոնը, որը ցուցադրվում է աշխարհի 120 երկրներում եւ որը դիտում է 1.5 միլիարդ մարդ։ Պատմության մեջ առաջին անգամ փառատոնին կներկայացվի հայկական ցախկասայ։ Cradle of Civilization, քաղաքակրթության օրրան։ Հայկական տարերով եւ խորթանիշերով զարդարված մեր ցախկասայը կմասնակցի պատվավոր շքերթին փառաբանելով հայ մշակույթն ու պատմությունը։ Մեր նվիրաբերումներով մենք կարող ենք դարձնել սա ավանդույթ։ Հավելյալ տեղեկությունների եւ նվիրատվության համար այցելեք aarfa.org կայքը։ Amanoria Hanakankal Naver Zer Yerechanerin Legacy Partners i Kogmit Septemberi 14-in Jama 12-se Zer Yerechaner e Hnaravorutyun kunenan lusanakarvel Irens Sireli Frozen multfilmi kerparneri hakustnerov Inchpes nayev handipel Mutual of Omaha enkerutyan Animal Kingdom i kentanineri het Sirov hravirum enk bolor manuknerin yev khostanum hekyatayin dramadrutyun So now this is the third part of the program where it's always positive. We don't talk about anything negative. By the way, at the end of the year, this show will stop. I will never, I will not have, not never. Well, you never know, never say never. I will stop the Pirelli show because next year I'll be traveling a lot and I don't want to be stuck here 
with you guys arguing, the ones on the left side. I know the ones on the right side will miss me. But what I'm doing is I'm starting a new show called Inchu. It will be aired once a week for a duration of one hour. It's me and four or five people just discussing different topics of Armenian existence and Armenian identity. So I will let you know exactly the, day, the date. It will be January 4th, but what time and such on, you guys will know about it in very near future. So the positive reaction from the action of the genocide is I am documenting everything Armenian on the planet with your money. Now you're going to tell me why do we need to do that? Because we as a nation, we only think about today. We never think about 100 years from now. We never think what to pass on to the next generations. So me documenting almost 14 countries in the world, and next year going on to document another 20, 25 countries, that's a positive reaction to the action of the genocide. Well, it's a positive that we spread all over the world and we contributed to the local um, economy, local um, being happy, local existence and such on. Yet we never, never uh, accepted that fact. We always stayed and said we were victims of the Armenian genocide. So one of the positive reactions of the Armenian genocide is few of you guys are millionaires and few of you guys are billionaires but don't tell anybody because Armenians are going to start asking you for money it rhymes too don't tell anybody because Armenians will start asking you for money another positive reaction for the Armenian genocide is world cultures were introduced to the Armenian culture imagine if there was no genocide do you think the American public or the French public or the Lebanese public would have known anything about the Armenian culture. Now, regardless that what we present to them is some of them are carbon copies and some of them um, do not understand what is Armenian and what is not, but the opportunity of a person in the 21st century, 20th and the 21st century, to know about the Armenian identity. So those are positive reactions. When Asadur Sarafian, Oscar Banker, invented the automatic transmission that the whole planet right now utilizes, that was a positive reaction for the action of genocide that he lost his father, mother, brother, and other sister. And another sister survived. His contribution to society was the positive reaction. Besides me, have you ever seen anybody talking about him? Look at it this way. 300, no, 7 billion, 300 million people on the planet are utilizing the automatic transmission themselves or their um, neighbors, their siblings, their friends. Majority of the cars are automatic transmission today from an orphan who came to the States before the genocide, his family stayed there, they were killed. He came over here and in 1928 invented the automatic transmission. That's the positive reaction of a negative thought that we have the Armenian genocide. It's an action. Today, from Lebanon to the US, from Canada to Australia, Armenians are all, are all over the world doing good deeds. I know, we do have the, just like any other nation, we do have the crooks, the killers, the identity theft people and such on. And it's a new, um, new way of survival, I guess. But yet, on the other side, we do have people who have contributed. That's the positive contribution to others. Just like in your Christian faith, not mine. In yours, you have to do something good to the other person. What have we Armenians done to the other people? As a collectively, nothing. We're just going to commemorate the 100th anniversary and suddenly, out of nowhere, 
we are doing an Armenian American Museum in Glendale. And the funny thing is that the Genocide 100th Anniversary Committee is doing that. And they cannot call it Armenian Genocide Museum because, oh, don't tell Armenians about it. It's shush, shush. It's interesting. In Washington, D.C., there was going to be built an Armenian Genocide Museum too. And still today, it hasn't. And almost every, each one of you guys know what, why the reason is. So what is the fascination of the Armenian people with building tangible or gaining tangible property? Yet, what is the gain of having a tangible property in one location and nobody is attending it? It's the pride of that few people who say, we did this thing. And there's a saying, yete if the mountain doesn't come to you, you go to the mountain. But unfortunately, Armenians are so self-centered. They want everybody on the planet to respect Armenians, yet we are sitting in our houses and we don't go out and people don't know about us. Therefore, next year, another positive reaction to the Armenian genocide, which is a, a sad day, is the genotruck that's going to travel throughout the U.S. and introduce to the general public American Armenians who have contributed to society. So be ready. Starting January, I'm going to start fundraising for this thing. And you guys know a few days ago I presented that box that you send me $200 and Go to the thearmenian.com and there is the box of knowledge that you can give away as gifts to other people. And that starts the atomic reaction of spreading knowledge. And that's what we lack. We lack knowledge within our identity, within our circle of human beings, and we lack introducing the knowledge to the general public. To all people who understood what I said, today was very calm. See, I didn't react, I didn't say anything bad. It was very calm. Just brain, brain need. And almost 51% of Armenians don't know how to use their brain. So it might be a boring show today for those people, but people who understood what I said, they can appreciate what I'll be doing next year. And not because of the 100th anniversary, just because we Armenians react and give positive reaction. Paris, Luis. <laughs>